Good morning. Happy October to everyone. Uh, this October, I'd like to throw in as many streams as I can that involve some sort of spooky game or something with spooky themes or spooky trappings around it. I made a whole list. I put it on Twitter and my Discord. DM me if you want to invite me to the Discord. And, well, today I wanted to start off with the one I forgot to put on the list. Dracula in London for DOS. Give me a minute to throw on some Discord alerts, show that I'm streaming. This was a DOS game that came out in 1988. <clears throat> Excuse me. In 1988. It's part adventure game, part board game. And you can play it cooperatively or just alone. I had to brush off uh, some of my old DOS box skills just to get it running. That's the first boss of any retro game, the installation screen. The character's plot and some text of Dracula in London were conceived and written by Bram Stoker, 1897. Copyright, 1988, SDJ Enterprises, all rights reserved. <clears throat> Program and graphics by Stephen D. Jones. Alright, this game is okay, public domain software, so you can play it as much as you like, unlimited, but you could send him, or send the developer oh, $6 and get a vampire packet. Six hunter cards, detailed background, point scoring information, provisions reference, so mat basically material to turn this into a physical board game. Here's one of the cards. Professor Van Helsing tells you how to play him, his special skills, and how to score points. Like I said, this is part board game. So each character that you play, or you can play as all of them. Well, go for the high score and play them as the character that they are. This game obviously takes a lot of inspiration from Bram Stoker's Dracula. A lot of the same major points and beats play out. But because it's an interactive game, you can also deviate. By the time you get to the end of the story, maybe everyone survives, maybe not everyone survives. This would have been... You could think of this as a very prototype version of the Dark Pictures Anthology series of adventure games and horror games get to the end. Maybe everyone survives. Maybe they don't. Maybe you lose someone along the way. Everyone's playthrough is going to be a little bit different. Oh, did you? Did Renfield survive till the end? No, my Renfield died after like the third day. Oh, you were able to save Lucy? What? How did that happen? You never really play the same game twice. Count Dracula left his own barren land, barren of peoples, to come to a new land where life where life of man teems like a multitude of standing corn. To sustain his undead power, he has brought 50 large crates of native soil. Only six persons know of, of the Count's evil intentions. Van Helsing, Mina, Jonathan, Dr. Seward, Lord Arthur, and Quincy Morris. Use your wits to track down the bloodthirsty vampire and put an end to his evil menace. Beware the creatures of the night who will thwart your sacred purpose. N know, too, that Dracula has the strength of twenty men and the cunning of centuries. He will kill any who subvert his unquenchable thirst for souls. Each player selects and assumes the role of one of the following vampire hunters. If there's less than six players, divide the extra hunters as you see fit. So you could easily play this couch co-op or PC co-op, just get a few chairs, pass the keyboard around between you, or have one person dictate, okay, I want to move my guy here, I want to pull out the crucifix, or play with chat, stream chat. Hey, Crash, good morning. Good to see you. 
Uh, what was I saying? You could you can play this over chat. Just ask chat to play certain characters. Brightburn, hey, good to see you. Always happy to see you. Uh, distribute the hunter cards to your vampire packets. Read them out loud. Before starting the game, carefully read the game prologue, rule summary, vampire lore, in case you're unfamiliar with crosses and garlic. Vampire lore. Tells you all about Dracula, the things he can do. Things he's vulnerable to. I think that's enough prologue. Let's start the game. Give the keyboard to Van Helsing and press spacebar. All right, the book kicks off here. Morning headlines. Severe storms rack the area. You know, it's very timely that I play this game because I'd like to mention that movie that came out recently, The Last Voyage of the Demeter. That was a very small part of the Dracula novel. Dracula goes from London or goes from Transylvania to London on a ship called the Demeter. It ends up being a ghost ship. Everyone's dead, and it just crashes into the dock. At least that's how it is in the book. I never saw the movie. But it's interesting that the movie took that one part and expanded on it. There was also a three-part Netflix series retelling of Dracula where the whole two hours was just spent on the boat. About the... The 25th anniversary of Batman 89. Oh, that's new. I love that Tim Burton movie. Select your activity. The game only goes for so long. I forget how long. So time is of the essence. Every action you take takes a few hours. Only so many hours in a day. Certain actions can be taken at night. Oh yeah, they're jump scares too. Only certain actions can be taken at night. And maybe you'll find the Count, maybe not. Maybe you'll run into him on day one. Maybe you'll run into him on the f right before the end of the game. Maybe he'll escape. Maybe you'll kill him. It's all up in the air right now. Red Ox, hey, good morning. <laughs> I thought that was my headphones for a moment. <laughs> okay, so Dracula has come to London. He's around, up to no good. Let's look at the hunter status and provisions. This is the inventory screen. You have the six playable characters. Their health. Notice how Mina's health is a big question mark. Location and provisions. Van Helsing, according to the legend, Van Helsing is carrying a crucifix. And Quincy has a large knife because he's from Texas. All right, review prov provisions. I should tell you what everything is. Uh, you know what? Um, I remember playing this a long time ago. I'm just going to go with instinct. Now, Arthur is a lord, Lord Arthur, and he's rich. He has a ranch. I think he's the only one that can actually use and equip horses, which will reduce the time it takes to do an action or travel. A Arthur. Huh. Horses are not selectable. Oh, did I accidentally select Van Helsing? Oh, press space bar to select. Uh. Oh, select an item, then select the character. Okay, um. Van Helsing. Van Helsing now is the crucifix and the wooden stake. And each player character can carry two items. Uh, let's see, Jonathan. Let's give him some sacred wafers. And garlic. Mina? Yeah, I should probably have given Mina the garlic, too. Item already chosen. Okay. Discard. She's going to need it. If you know anything about the book. Wolfsbane. 
Let's give the Wolfsbane to Quincy, so that if he ever actually has to fight a wolf or a werewolf, if they're even in the game, I don't know. I've never played this before. He might be more effective against wolves. When you watch the beginning of the first Blade film in 1998, it really feels like a classic vampire film set in modern day. Hmm. Yeah, if you change the trappings. And also, I think Blade 2 was filmed in uh, Croatia because they got some discounts filming there. Like trying to attract business so a lot of people will film there, boost their film industry. So a lot of the background architecture of Blade 2 might look very old and stylized as if it was a, from a classic vampire film. Let's see, sacred Wafer. A sacred wafer is needed to sterilize Dracula's boxes of unholy earth. Place the wafer in the end of the box. It also repels vampires. All right. Can we give that to Mina as well? Oh, and I already chose the sacred wafer. Um, well, holy water. Let's give that to Mina. Oh, right, Mina. Uh, she's a girl, so she can only carry one item. Seward. Let's give him... Protects all the hunters from getting rabies from rats, bats, and wolves. Alright, give the doctor the cure. Blade 2 has Donnie Yen. Was he one of the ninja vampires at the beginning? Hmm. Okay, well, everyone's equipped, sort of. Let's trace the Count's cargo. See if that gives us any No leads. No clues found. Read collated letters, diaries, etc. If you read the book, you know what's going on. Let's visit Renfield, see if there's a lead. Renfield expounds all sorts of incoherent ravings. Nothing. So I guess I'll just... Can I trace again? Oh. If you look at the Big Ben clock, time has advanced from when I started. Pat Hennessy to Dr. J. Seward. With regard to Renfield, today he broke out and attacked two men who made a call next door at Carfax. Their moving cart had some great wooden boxes on it. Their names are T. Snelling and J. Smollett. It's been a long time since I read the book. I don't know if those names are significant. Like, were they... The Count's Moving Company? Okay, nighttime. Go to... They mentioned Carfax. Estate of Carfax. Select your party. Who all's going? Yeah, I think that same jingle was used in Carmen San Diego. Everybody go to Carfax. Have you chosen the correct hunter? Yes. You learn that up to very lately, there's been a notice board of for sale up. Perhaps Mitchell, Sons, and Candy, the house agents, will tell you something. See, trace the Count's cargo. Or... Oh, we didn't come all this way for nothing. You find a window that opens easily. Climb in. It's too dark to see. Jonathan has a lantern, or is that something else? Hunter status. Yeah, there should be more stuff. Yeah, rat terriers, horses, turpentine. 
I should be able to equip those. Oh, it has been... It has been a while since I've played. Carfax, find out what your car is worth. <laughs> See what's at the wharf. Let's see if we can find anything from the crash of the Demeter. You learn that low tide occurs at about noon. Great. Oh, look at those wonderful ASCII graphics. There's a ship, and then there's each character at the dock. Renfield escapes and heads toward the abandoned estate, Carfax, next door. He dashed past the guard as he entered the room for inspection. Search for Renfield. You find Renfield on the far side of the abandoned house. He is immensely strong, and he acts more like a wild beast than a man. You forcibly return him to his room. That probably scored points. Go to nowhere I can... Oh, can we go back to Carfax? Yeah, no lantern. Right. Everyone feels very tired this morning. I'm sure that all that's all accounted for in the formula for whenever combat starts. No news. Trace the council cargo. Let's see what those... Yeah. T. Schnelling and Moving Company. Seems to be a good, decent, intel intelligent, reliable type of workman. He says, I'm not going to try that, that dialect. I heard a person named Bloxham tell about a dirty job in an old house, Governor. If you can give me a, an envelope and I find Sam, I'll post it to you. While out, Jonathan sees someone who looks like the Count. He becomes very pale and his eyes seem to be bulging out as half in terror, half in amazement. After a few minutes, he goes to sleep and forgets about the entire incident. If you read the book, you know that Dracula can actually walk around in daylight. Can Renfield tell us anything about what he was doing last night? Renfield has a hobby of catching flies. Alright, can I go to Carfax in the daytime? Oh! The room contains nine large wooden crates. Van Helsing. He does not have the wafers, so... I'll just move him around, see what's upstairs. There's nothing of interest upstairs. Okay, Jonathan, you've got the wafers, so you... Yes. Dracula is now banished from the Earth. Contained in this little box. I suppose this is one way to win if you can sterilize all of the boxes of Earth that he has. You don't have to kill him. Now, if there were actually enemies or monsters on screen, I would not be able to walk around as freely. Well, let's everyone leave. My apologies for anyone watching. This jingle might be stuck in your head all day every time you do a small object action of any sort. You open a door. Well, we spent the day. We spent 
the day looking for Dracula. Let's rest. London looking rough these days. Good morning, Alchemic Ale. Everyone feels well rested. Morning headlines. Large dog seen running loose. If you read the book, you should know that Dracula, one of the many forms he can take, is a big, large, black dog with red eyes. Investigate the newspaper report. No clues found. Mina looks paler than usual. I need to get that lantern. I forget how. Oh, there we go. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Horses. Only Arthur or, or Quincy can use horses because he's from Texas. Only Arthur can choose the Rat Terriers. Okay, let's give the lantern to Dr. Seward. I think a medical bag and a skeleton key might be very useful too, but I've run out of inventory space. Right. Read collated letters and diaries. Nothing found. Renfield is feeding his flies to his new pet spiders. Oh, that's rests. I have no leads. Okay, two days have passed. Change the keyboard operator. Pass the keyboard to the player on your left. This is when you know, somebody else in chat or someone else sitting next to you can take control and play. Everyone feels well rested this morning. Good. No news. Anything? Oh, the Count's cargo almost certainly came to England aboard the Russian ship Demeter. Judging by the strange circumstances surrounding the ship's arrival in Whitby, the shipping authorities in Whitby may be of help. Okay, let's go to shipping authorities. There's one Black Sea-bound ship going out with the tide tonight. Oh, Redfield escapes. Same blurb as before. I could search for Redfield. Or not. Ah, okay. Now I can interview people. Uh, Harbor Master. The ship was steered into shore by a dead man who was tied to the wheel, clutching a crucifix. No one's been able to find Renfield. Try, uh, customs officials. The doomed ship began its voyage to England from the Black Sea port of Varna. Renfield is still at large. the Coast Guards. The Count's cargo was co was consigned to a solicitor in Whitby, Samuel Billington. Attendants capture Redfield. He's now in his room. I didn't mean to go here. Oh no! Mina must be a victim of the Count. She is terribly weak and pale-looking, with two horrible wounds on her neck. You must protect Mina. If Dracula bites her again, she will surely join the grisly ranks of the undead. Would you like to perform a blood transfusion? This would be a great question, or a poll to set for chat. Who will provide the blood? So I could just drain somebody, <laughs> or spread it out among different people. Let's take it from uh, Lord Arthur. Now I could rest or protect Mina. Uh, let's rest. There's a wild yell from Renfield's room. Okay, we 
progressed it. Let's try to protect Nina. Nothing unusual happens. Everyone's very tired from protecting Nina. Morning headlines. Giant bat scene. Let's investigate the bat. It may have been some wild specimen from the south of a more malignant species. A letter arrived to Van Helsing from his friend Dr. Arminius of Budapest University. The Draculas were a great and noble race, though now and again were scions who were held by their co-evals to have had dealings with the evil one. That sounds like a passage taken right from the book. Let's see, Billington. Billington was the guy who had the cargo. Samuel Billington is unable to offer Jonathan any information other than some useless letters and invoices. But he does direct him to Whitby Station Master, who oversaw a shipment of boxes to London. Okay. The men who did the teaming are out working. You may try again later. Let's ask Renfield what he's screaming about. Renfield has parted with some of his pets and now has a sparrow. He went from flies to spiders, now he has a sparrow. Uh, protect Mina. The wind is howling through the trees. Renfield bursts into Dr. Seward's room, his face distorted with passion. The lunatic strikes with a sharp knife and cuts the doctor's left wrist. Renfield falls on the floor and, and begins licking up the blood. The attendant sees him. Hunter status. Dr. Seward is wounded. Mina is wounded. Arthur is wounded because of the blood transfusion. Uh, do I protect Mina or rest? Everybody needs rest. This is like that dilemma in Oregon Trail. No, do you push hard or have a slower pace? Uh, rest. Rest. Another giant bat. Is there any place I can go? No. Let's trace the cargo. The carrier's men. The carrier's men were able to supplement the written words with a few details. Their words are almost solely connected with the dusty nature of the job. However, you learn that the boxes were delivered to a house on Jamaica Lane. All right. Let's go to Jamaica Lane, maybe consecrate a few more crates of earth. The yard shows no sign of care for many years. Force open window or send for a locksmith? I could force open a window, or sending for a locksmith probably takes time, so... I probably should have gotten that skeleton key. Let's force open the window. You hear a policeman's heavy tramp approach. He passes by, just nodding in acquiescence. A gust of cold air rushes into the room. An old grandfather clock sits by the staircase. Van Helsing, let's see what's in the back room. You hear a steady thudding sound. This is a freaky looking basement. I should not be in here alone. 29 large wooden crates. Activate the next hunter. Jonathan's got the wafers. Ah, what's that? A large spider appears.
combat movement to turns remaining two. Okay. Mina, who's wounded. The spider's making a beeline for her. Let's just run away. Dr. Seward is also wounded. So get away from the spider. Arthur's wounded. Take him away. Quincy, here from Texas. Fight the spider. Quincy misses the spider. Quincy is bitten by the spider. He seems to be all right. The Belladonna neutralized the poison. Quincy misses the spider. Quincy's bitten. He's okay. Belladonna neutralized the poison. You know, just squish this thing. Quincy kills the spider. Good for him. Now, let's see what's upstairs. There's nothing of interest upstairs. Alright, still an interesting session. Consecrated a bunch of earth. Spider. Jonathan's bitten. He seems to be all right. Belladon who tries to poison. Misses the spider. It's just a spider. He's wounded. Jonathan kills the spider. Thank you. It's not like we have XP or levels. I probably should have just run. Do you want to ride the horses to another location? No. Let's rest because everyone is hurt. <laughs> Protect Mina. It's a cold and clammy night. One. Oh, I hit rest instead of protect. You find Mina, seemingly in a swoon, lying on the floor. Her throat is bare, showing two little wounds, looking horribly white and mangled. Her breathing is painful to hear, and her face is more wan, more wan looking than ever. Shortly later, Mina dies! Oh no. I swear, it is possible to keep Mina alive through the whole game. There's a wild yell from Renfield's room. She was wearing garlic, though. Watch Graveyard. Uh, we're going to have a repeat of Lucy. Hunter status. Wounded, 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 dead. Uh, I'm just going to rest until something happens. Are we healed yet? No. Okay, maybe I can't heal from just resting. Maybe I need the medical bag. The medical bag can reduce injuries from attacks and accidents. It will not cause a hunter to heal faster. Oh, okay. Only Van Helsing or Dr. Seward can select and use the medical bag. Renfield asks a very, very, very great favor, and he speaks. He fawns on you like a dog. I want a kitten to play with, to teach and feed and feed. No. Any clue? 
I'd like to oblige you, and especially the honor, the honorable Arthur Holmwood. I will consult the house and contact Lord Godalming. Letter to Arthur. The purchaser of the estate which Mr. Harker expressed on your behalf was a foreigner, Count Deville. He also purchased a large estate near Chicklin Street. All right, let's go to Chicklin Street. Force open the window. Hear a policeman approach. He passes by. Five wooden crates. Ah. Renfield bursts into the room, his face distorted with passion. He carries a long, sharp spike. Seward, you are Renfield's attending doctor. Lord Arthur, you have nothing to do with this. Quincy, take him out. Quincy misses Renfield. Oh my god. Dr. Seward is attacked by Renfield. Dr. Seward dies. I think as his attending doctor, you actually had a percent chance of like, talking him down. Talking him down. You, didn't, you don't have to fight him, but... Hmm. Oh, Van Helsing cannot fight. I guess. Or he can't fight Renfield. Maybe he needs... Maybe he needs a knife. Quincy is attacked by Renfield. Quincy is wounded. Since I've played, I've never had, never had Renfield take out two people. <laughs> Nothing upstairs. A large spider appears. <laughs> what? Renfield eats the spider. <laughs> Yay? What luck? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to escape. <laughs> Jonathan's attacked by Renfield. Jonathan is in critical condition. I guess that's a fireplace, not a door. Goodness, there's no attacks of opportunity. Jonathan dies. Another large spider. And he goes for it. No. Watch graveyard. Suddenly you see something like a white streak moving between two trees. She has dark, piercing eyes that seem almost red. She arches her neck and licks her lips like an animal would. It's Mina! Will you destroy this vampire? Things have already gotten off to a really bad start. Let's keep the bad going. Let's not destroy the vampire. Nothing bad happened. Okay. Child bitten by bat. <laughs> Investigate newspaper report. Child is found near a graveyard. 
can't go to a graveyard. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, Arthur's wounded. Van Helsing is okay. A little way off, a white, dim figure flitters in the direction of the tomb. In a dim light, you see the moisture shining on the voluptuous red lips. She is thrilling yet repulsive. It's Mina. Yeah, why not? The thing releases a horrid screech as the stake drives home. Its plunging, writhing form and bloody lips of foam are utterly grotesque. Afterwards, in the coffin lay Mina, as you had known her living life. In her living life. The terrible task is over. Rest. Everyone feels well rested. Investigate the newspaper. Authorities have captured the beast. Okay. Field burst into the room again. Don't know what to do or where to go. I just got no got no leads. Check these other places. That have By now, it has become painfully obvious that Count Dracula has disappeared from London without a trace. You may want to go to Castle Dracula in an effort to track him down. Oh, wounded and wounded. Dead, 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 dead. Let's go to Castle Dracula. After traveling all day on a rough road, you stand before Castle Dracula in all its grandeur, perched a thousand feet on the summit of a sheer precipice. Searching the castle reveals no clues as to the whereabouts of Count Dracula. By now he could be anywhere, swelling the grisly ranks of the undead. I guess that was one last ditch effort. Flip a coin, he may be there, he may not. You may get a showdown or a letdown. Seven years ago, we all went through the flames, and the pain from those trying days still haunts our very souls. Van Helsing, currently a recluse. He scored ten points, though. Jonathan's dead, Mina's dead, Dr. Seward's dead, Arthur is in an unhappy marriage. But he scored fifteen points. Quincy, dead. Total score, twenty-five points. Well, that was... Dracula in London. At least one playthrough. Things could have gone a whole lot better. Maybe if I had had better equipment, if everybody had weapons. Like, I should be able to give everybody a large knife. Or if only I had watched Mina that one time instead of resting. Hmm. Well, if anybody's interested, this game is uh, free. If you want to give the Give the creator a few dollars. His address is in the opening. 
where he'll send you a lot more rules, a, a handbook, some cards, ideas of how to score points. You could probably find that information online if points are an issue. Things could have easily gone so much different, and I ha I've played this a lot many years ago, and I have had really good runs where everyone survived. Well, except Dracula. Hmm. Well, this was interesting. I hope one of you guys, whoever's watching this, f downloads it, finds it, plays it, has some fun with chat, with everyone else getting to play a character or play locally. I had a lot of fun with this. It's easy to pick up and play small sessions or just repeated sessions. Uh, there was actually a remake for this game a couple of years after the release for Windows that's more graphical and less text-based. But I never played that one. I never learned about that one until after. Oh, until a couple of days. A couple of days ago when I was looking up information about this game again. Uh, this would be a great stream game. Maybe if the right streamer picked it up or influencer played it, could get its name out there. Well, that's all I'm up for for now. Well, maybe I'll play again sometime later in the month, but I have a lot more games to showcase. But who knows what I'll be up to, for, what I'll be feeling up to next week. All right, this goodbye has gone on long enough. Thank you, everyone, who stopped by to say hi. Thank you, Brightburn. Thank you, Crash, Red Ox, Alchemical. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.